Hey what's up guys and welcome to Xbox On and in today's video we're going to let you in on a few little secrets about your Xbox One. These handy tips are things that you probably don't use enough on your console so let's get this intro over and done with and get into the good stuff. We all know that console streaming and Project X Cloud is something that Microsoft is investing in heavily for the future. But right now, regardless of being an Xbox Insider or what platform of mobile device you're running, you can stream your console to your Windows 10 computer. This could come in handy if the TV is being taken over in the lounge and you really don't fancy watching a bunch of people on an island going on dates or your sister's just watching Peppa Pig. But you do happen to have a Windows 10 PC in another room. All you need to do is go into your Xbox One settings, devices and streaming, device connections, then make sure that allow game streaming to other devices is ticked. Jump over to your Windows 10 PC or laptop and head into the Xbox console companion app. Head down to the connection menu and select the console that you want to stream from. Click that little old stream button and voila, your console is now streaming to your Windows 10 device. You'll also need to make sure you have an Xbox controller connected to either your Xbox One console or the Windows 10 device you're streaming to. Gone are the days where playing games restricted you to one place. Now, thanks to a handy feature on your Xbox One, you can take your progress with you to any console that you log into. Say you've just upgraded from an Xbox One S to a shiny new Xbox One X. Back in the old days, you'd have to move all of your precious saved data onto a hard drive which would have taken a few hours and then move it all onto your new console. But now, thanks to the wonders of the cloud, it'll all load up instantly when you log in and boot up the game. Same thing goes if you decide to show off that amazing Apex skin that you've unlocked around a mate's house. Simply log into your gamer tag on their console and boom, your saved progress is right there. If your data usage is something you need to monitor, then this little known feature may be super useful for you. Did you know that if you actually go to settings, general, network settings, and select bandwidth usage, it will show you how much data your Xbox console has been using. This is really handy if your internet is capped or you're just interested in how many bits are being used from hour to hour. It'll show you hour by hour over the last 12 hours, as well as historical bandwidth usage. We all know that the Xbox wireless controller feels great to hold and that the Xbox Elite Series 2 is the best controller in the world hands down. But did you know that you can actually use your phone or mobile device to control your Xbox One too? Start out by downloading the Xbox app to your device, select console, then connect to your Xbox One. This will give you a list of consoles that you can connect to and control. Choose your desired console and hit connect. You're now fully in control of your Xbox One. We probably wouldn't recommend jumping into anything too intense, but it's a handy way to scroll through menus and navigate through options if your Xbox wireless controller is just that little bit too far away. If you hit the home button, it'll let you select remote. Then simply swipe up, down, left and right Select the main Nexus button, hit the options button, share everything you need to easily get around. With a huge range of amazing games to play on Xbox, thanks to Xbox Game Pass, backwards compatibility and new releases, you might need some extra support in terms of storage to make sure you're not missing out on any top titles. A simple way to expand your arsenal is with an external hard drive. There's a few things you should know before you go shopping though. Your new hard drive must be able to hold at least 128 gigabytes and connect via USB 3.0 with a maximum of 16 terabytes for external storage. I mean, 16 terabytes? Who has time for that many games? Well, I, I do, but moving on. Once you plug in the drive, your console will prompt you to format your device. And as easy as that, you're free to install your Xbox games and apps or media, such as game clips, pictures, music, and more. Have you ever found that you're running out of HDMI ports on your monitor or TV? Yeah, we, we've all been there. And making a decision about what device takes the hit and remains in the sad and lonely world of being unplugged is just too hard to think about. Well, how about this for a solution? Use your Xbox One as an extra HDMI in. At the back of the console, you'll notice there's a port for HDMI in. 
Essentially, what this means is that you can plug another device that outputs the HDMI and watch it via your Xbox, which can sound confusing, but it's actually pretty simple. All you need to do is plug in your device, go to the OneGuide app and follow the steps to set it up. Select cable or satellite and on the next page it'll start to detect your device. Configure all of the settings to what works best for you and there you go, you've just gained another HDMI input. Sometimes, no matter where, no matter when, if you get that itch to game, you've just got a game. And thanks to the console streaming preview, you can play your installed games on your Android phone or tablet over Wi-Fi or your mobile data. It's a pretty new feature that utilizes your Xbox One in a revolutionary new way. It basically mirrors whatever you've got installed on your console straight to a mobile device. Whether you're atop the Alps or sunning it on golden sands, you can play your favorite owned Xbox One games and Xbox Game Pass games almost anywhere on earth. Do you fancy yourself a bit of an achievement hunter or are you up for an epic adventure and get rewarded handsomely for your efforts? Well, we've got you covered as Xbox Game Pass quests are back. Check out daily, weekly and monthly quests under your gaming tab on your profile and earn points to redeem on the Microsoft Rewards app on your Xbox. Points can be used for Xbox gift cards, in-game content, games, accessories and more. We've all been there. Hit a snipe so crispy your parents would be proud and you want to shout about it to the world. Well, Xbox makes it super simple to capture those clutch moments to add to your highlights reel or upload to your Xbox feed and social media. Did something awesome just happen? Well, simply press in the Nexus and hit X to record the last 30 seconds of gameplay. You can change this duration under capture settings, record that duration and adjust it from 5 seconds to 2 minutes in 1080p. If you're setting up a sweet play or gunning for your fastest lap in Forza, press the Nexus button, then the view button to open capture options and select record from now. Now, where's the fun in making highlights without boasting about it to your friends? To share directly from your console, simply go to Capture and Share, select Recent Captures and the game clip you want to share. Press the A button on your controller and select the Share to icon. And from there, you can post your proudest moments to your activity feed, in a club, upload it to OneDrive or Twitter. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of all your gaming achievements. Whether it's taking down a boss in record time, completing a race without hitting anyone, or just collecting all of those teasing collectibles. We all have an achievement that we're aiming for. If you head to the Xbox menu, across to Achievements, and then go down to turn Achievements Tracker on. You'll be able to configure the exact position of your tracker, how many achievements it's showing and also the transparency so as not to interfere with the whole gaming thing. Now you can keep an eye on all of those stunt jumps you need to complete on Forza Horizon 4 without having to go into a menu. Nice. To make it easier to access your go-to games after a long day, you can pin them to your homepage or create groups of your most loved apps. Simply highlight the game or app you want to pin, press the menu button on your controller and select add to a group. From there you can create a new group and label it whatever you want or add it to existing groups that you've already made. Alternatively, you can add a game directly to your home page by selecting add to home to access it even faster. When it's pinned to your home you can check out popular clips, see your closest achievements or suggested clubs for the game. One way to upgrade your online alter ego is with a custom gamer pick. Once you've signed in, select my profile, customize profile, then change gamer pick. Now, Xbox provides you with some awesome characters and artwork from games such as Bleeding Edge, Battletoads, Halo and more for you to rep. Alternatively, to get even more personalized, you can upload a custom image by connecting a USB device or selecting a JPEG or PNG from OneDrive if you have it installed on your Xbox. And last, but certainly not least, you can use your very own Xbox avatar created through the editor app. Customize their pose and use as your gamer pick. It's a nice touch to make everything just a little more you. Modern life is busy. We get that and so does the rest of the team at Xbox. So luckily for us, they've essentially given us a time machine in the form of the wonderful Xbox app. No, we can't travel back in time, but we can save it by using the remote install functionality. By logging into the Xbox app, you'll be able to select a game you own and hit that little old install on Xbox One button and voila, 
It will then queue it up for your home console to install. Just make sure on your console that the box for allow remote installations is checked. That's under system, then updates and downloads. Now, that brand new game I've just purchased will be ready for me when I get home from a hard day's work. And a bonus tip for you, you can do the same thing on your Xbox Game Pass app. Choose a game from over 100 titles available and queue it for download. You're welcome. Another way to personalize your Xbox One gameplay is using mouse and keyboard, which can be plugged directly to your console via USB. The list of games that offer mouse and keyboard support is always growing. Whether you're looking to land some more Locust in Gears 5, hit a perfectly calculated shot on a mark in Sniper Elite V2, or shred through ravines even faster looking for some diamonds in Minecraft, simply plug in your peripherals to play. The list doesn't stop there, so be sure to let us know down in the comments if there's something you've been playing and we haven't mentioned. Pick up and go with our final underused feature for this video. Been playing Gears 5 on your Windows 10 PC? Well, don't worry, because you can pick it up and carry on where you left off on your Xbox One instantly. Are you the drift champion on Forza Horizon 4? Then why limit yourself to just one platform of dominance? Load up your progress across both PC and console because people deserve to know you're the best in every arena. Certain games are cross-save enabled, so make sure to check individual titles for more details, but it's an amazing feature that you may not have used in the past, but certainly will now. So there you have it. We've talked about some awesome Xbox One features to enhance your gaming that you might not have known about. Be sure to let us know your favorite down in the comments below. Smash that like button and to catch even more Xbox news and tips, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. We'll see you next time. Bye.